Oh, we need to slow things down. Quite sure what was going on with that Skaven intervention. I think there's two there. Oh, this is going to be hard. Going for the Sentinels of Zeti. Skip through Carrick Zorn. I am techless. High Lord. They can go away. I will slow things down as we get towards the end. Because this will show off all of the movements for the chaos and so on. Oh, it's you. Excellent. What do you want? Go away. Shit is really hitting the fan today. It would be unwise to waste my time. <laughs> Just because we started that ritual. <laughs> God damn. What are the puppets of chaos gonna do? Look, holding on to the edge of my seat here. Where are they gonna go? What are they gonna do? Are they gonna raise Quidax? Nope, they're just gonna raid. Okay, we're okay for now. <laughs> oh lordy, here they come. Look at that army. I think it's like the Skaven intervention. Probably a 10k cost one as well. Oh. Okay, here we go. So we have Eldorain. They have Storm Vermin, which are the best infantry they can get. Gutter Runners with Poison. Gutter Runners Slingers, Night Runners, Poison Wind Globideers, and the Plague Claw Catapult. We're kind of not in a good position to take this fight at all. Have a look at the battle map. It's not good. We will quick save and fight it on the battle map. Just because we could probably do some damage to them. Yeah. So, like I said, we're probably going to have to go back and redo all the stuff that we did. With all of the public order and stuff. Just to get through the next ritual. No wonder Skaven's struggling. Two full stacks of chaos. That's like the Archeon invasion. And the Chosen as well. Um right, best bet I think is is maybe up here on this corner. We do have some Illyrian Reaver archers, which allows us to kind of start behind if we can. Oh, we can just about squeeze in there, which is good. Alright. And then the rest of our units, we probably will just want to hide them so we don't get shot at from the get-go. Or maybe we play into this corner behind the trees. Bimmon in the mid. We'll have the Northern Sea Guard here. Archers here. Silver Helms. I'll have them back here as well, just so that I can put them into different areas. Actually, I might put one to the right over there. The eagle can fly about. I might just have the eagle running around all over the place. Stop the battle. I'm going to do it like so. These guys are going to try and get into this forest area. Look, our unit patrol the skies. Okay. So I'm hoping that they kind of... Oh dear, that's not good. Stop firing. I will not, not run free. 
We want them to stop. Oh, that's not good. Because I need the Illyrian riders to be able to, like, run into the back of them. Turn off the uh, fire at will. Okay, they're hidden. Still being hit, though. Let's get my eagle to come out here. Just try and be annoying with it. I think they're adequately far enough away. Oh, that's not good. Oh, they're doing a lot of damage to us. I'm going to have to run away with the Silver Helms. We're into the back of the Plague Claw Catapults, which is good. That's not good. Run away. How are we doing elsewhere? Not too bad. These silver helms though are getting chewed up. I might just charge them into these gutter runners. I might go take out these gutter or these night runners with slingers as well. No, we just want to try and get away over here. I'm gonna have them fire at well again. Right, cause the last thing we need is like another Skaven faction to pop up, so just having the Silver Helms run down the Night Slingers there. I just have the Gutter Runners with poison. Try and take out these chaps. Okay, cool. So I don't mind if the Great Eagle dies. So far, so good. Let's target the ranged forces, I think, on this side. We need to get rid of the Globideers if we can. We'll target those as well. I'm going to probably move forwards and engage their units. Um, I'll move these guys out of the edge of the tree line there. And we can probably target these Storm Vermin. Alright. Get the Silverhelms out of there. Gonna have the Illyrian archers come back and try and deal with the rest of these play core catapult units. Let's just get out of there with the Silverhelms. These ones can come back in as well. I think the idea here is to charge into the back of the Storm Vermin. Right, we should probably start chewing up some of these plague monks in that melee combat, so we'll go for that. Um, still getting away here. Ooh, we did manage to get into the play claw catapult, but we're being wrecked. Just run away. Some damage on the way. Cool. Right, we need to break off with the silver helms because we got intercepted. Okay, the storm vermin at the moment are causing quite a lot of an issue in the mid. I'm going to try and focus them down if I can with some of the arrows. Not doing too bad here. Although the Illyrian archers just run away. Charge into the gutter runners with poison. Alright, that sort of ruins them a little bit, which is good. How's my eagle doing? Where did my eagle even go? Up here. I'm going to try... Actually, I can't really break through that formation, so we're just going to go elsewhere. Hmm. I think our main line's breaking as well. We were doing quite well, but... I kind of feel like there's just a little bit too many men here. We're losing our general as well. We're so close to the end of the uh, what, edge of the map that it doesn't really matter at this point. They're getting a little bit of a buff there, I think.
Mm. We did quite a lot of damage, but I don't think we're going to win. Oh, that's some really unfortunate. Decisive defeat. I thought we were doing well at one point, but... 525 losses? You're joking me. We definitely did more damage than that. Stupid, very hard difficulty. <laughs> what? An absolute joke. <laughs> Oh dear. Maybe it calculates how much they get back from winning the battle um, if they take the captives. That was actually raised. See, maybe not. Because Skaven just taken over, don't they? So it might not be raised. Even if it is raised, the army should be more damaged now. I say melee defense for melee infantry units. Wow. They're in no favor. I think we favor Kothik here for the extra melee defense for infantry units. It's going to take us down to one influence. We are currently bankrupt. Due to my trade income being completely savaged. Okay, she's leveled up. We're gonna give her Bowmaster. We will destroy the Dark Elf intervention. And we will take the replenishment. Okay, so that will sort out our income. Warp. Three units of warp lightning cannons there. What's the garrison looking like here? We've got a pretty decent garrison at the Sentinels of Zeti. Um, Teclis will come back and defend that. I'm just going to have to let the Skaven army do what the hell they want. The Asser are troubled. Can I offer assistance? Like I said, pick up the pieces afterwards. Aramir, I might have him just sort of run on round. How can I assist you? Like if we go towards Itza and run round, then we can sort of join Teclis on his way back up. Because I don't want to kind of run into both these stacks with Aramir on his own, because his army is just not good enough. The Asser are ageless. Okay. Right, if we're going to be leaving there, I should probably get the promenade. Public order, like at the moment. We've still got the plus six from the faction effects. Let me just build it anyway. Have my attention. Protect our vault. All right, your land yeah, will be able to build up all of these forces what in the next use? turn, which will be good. Lady I might as well, as I think in the meantime, have Eldarian inside Yolandra's. I will share my experience. Yeah, army. Just for the extra replenishment. Not sure if that affects the garrison as well, but it might do, and that's worth the lack of income there. We do have research available. We're going to move on to military advancements three. We don't have any rights we could do, even though having the invocation of Val would be very good right now. A lack of funds for that. I think maybe we do that though. We cancel this building. We go for the invocation of Val. Because Val's hammer during siege battles will be quite nice, I think.
Although we're not going to be having many siege battles, I don't think, because we're probably going to be attacking the units that are sieging us rather than letting them attack, because we don't have time to just wait and let them attack. You can get extra unit experience for Sword Masters of Hoeth recruits. I think we're going to take that. And what I might do is get Sword Masters of Hoeth in Yolandia's army. The Emerald Collar enables poison attacks, passive ability, Seed of Rebirth, which gives regeneration. Uh, we don't need that. I don't think we need that. That ring is pretty damn nice. Ring of Hukon. We'll take the Ring of Hukon, thank you very much. Go give her some equipment. Sacrificed incense. Extra missile resistance. What else can we give her? We got the enchanted item, which will be the, the Ring of Hukon. That thing's pretty damn awesome. Um, then we can give her... The Lawmaster's Cloak, maybe? I think the Ward Save is probably the best one, though. Well, that blooming Skaven Rat Ogre just punching the ground <laughs> over and over and over again, which is really, really annoying. Let's have a look at our armor. I think we're better off with the uh, Trixie's Helm there. And Sword of Striking is great and all, but we'll give her the Sword of Strife. Give her the extra public order, should help us out. Nice. We can stop here in the ground now, thank you very much, Mutin's Guide. One turn until Teclis has finished his Frostheart Phoenix. Blimey. Hello to Jean in the chat, or Jean. The Jean, I'll just call you Jean. Um, end the turn there. Oh, this is getting intense. I'm gonna have to watch the end turn. Um, just because it's very important that I see what happens. <laughs> oh dear. Look at that. Alistair the White Lion. That's cool. He actually has white lines of trace in his army. I wonder if Clan Moors will come back towards that settlement I left. Like Obside here. Yeah, I wonder if he comes back. Nope, he's going to continue towards Zlan Huabek. Which is actually a really good thing for me. Wow, look at those two Clan Moors armies going straight towards Dawn's Light. Here goes the Skaven intervention. Deliver your terms and I shall consider them. And they really want that military alliance. I think if the Fortress of Dawn has that army wrecked, I might as well try for the Confederation again. But to listen to your inane babbling. Well, they can go away. Honestly, the amount of turns that I put off being friends with the Spine and Sotek Dwarves probably could have become friends with them quite easily. Wittenberg <laughs> has been destroyed.
Ailing is still alive. I think they have that one army left. Here are the Puppets of Chaos with their absolutely insane armies. Oh, they're marching now. That's no fun. The War Band of the Eagle is going to be at Turtle Isle in no time. I think they are going to siege Mud Isle? No, they're going towards the Sentinels of Zeti. Okay. I kind of want to intercept that unknown Skaven clan. Cool, we got some extra income from trade there. Um, where was that imminent rebellion? Colchan Pass. I serve the king. We're gonna try to get the Southern Sentinels settlement. Oh, looks like it was just sacked previously. I will take that. Thank you very much. And I'm guessing that the Southern Sentinels will be the settlement that the Rebellion spawns next to because it's the furthest to the left on the bottom here. Gonna get the grazing pastures, I think, maybe here. Actually, that's not worth it at all. It doesn't give us anything to trade. We'll go for the Elven Craftsman. And since we can recruit another unit of archers, I may as well replace the one that I lost. So that's what I was looking for anyway, the uh, militia camp to just recruit from. We have the settlement upgrade available and the Northern Spine of Sotek. Uh, I might do the Monument of Izatal because I think the cavern's going to just get wrecked. Um... Yolandia has picked up quite a nice army now. Pretty standard army. I think it's time to uh, recruit something a bit bigger. Oh, we don't have enough cash now. Build the Star Dragons. Hmm. You must restore order. Then we cancel that Monument of Izatal build, and uh, we start to build those Star Dragons instead. Yes. My infinite knowledge is yours. Okay, Teclis. Order must be chosen. He needs to run on down to the Sentinels of Zeti. Ooh. Wait, what? Why did the Phoenix not build? Don't tell me I accidentally cancelled it by clicking on it. Ugh. Oh, what a joke. Hmm. I'm a bit worried we're not going to have enough time here. to get Teclis into position without having to fight two armies, although these armies are kind of bad, which is good. Okay, so the warbands will be dead. We'll take care of those. Then what we're going to do is unify all of the armies that they have here. So we have Alamir on the way. We have um, Teclis on the way. And we'll have Yolandia yeah, with her two star dragons. And we can deal with all of this stuff happening. Although, what's going on here? Why is there a bunch of attrition? I think it's it's the uh, vampire, vampiric corruption, that's causing the attrition there. That's annoying. Research available anyway, so. What are we going to put this towards? I think the heavy Thilmar armor and the star metal blade is probably the most useful one. 
because we have white lines of trace in a lot of our yeah a lot of our settlements so buffing them up generally would be a really good idea um, let's go ahead and end the turn not much else I can do we'll see what happens um, there's going to be a lot of nations attacking me very soon Bal's Anvil was taken over by Luthen. Some of those armies are really, really nice that Lothen have. I wish I could, like, afford to keep the same armies that they do. What's happening here? Defensive Alliance. No. Bad idea. Here comes Nagarond. Not too happy about Luthern attacking the Calls of Pleasure, that's for sure. Clan Moors isn't doing too well. Some interesting movements going on by the Skaven. What do you want? Don't want any military alliance with lizard men. It, it, it would be a good idea, maybe, if they weren't already at war with Clan Moors, I think, but. I think we're good for now. Displease me, and you will pay with. Okay. Well, that just made things awkward. I don't know why they would declare on me, but Blue Vipers are going to definitely take at least one of my provinces, which is going to be the monument. I'm glad I wasn't upgrading it now. So you're taking the opportunity while I'm under attack. I guess what that means is they're going to get wiped off the face of the earth.